Okay, so let's get into some techniques we do in this shell. We call it Puno Sombrata. So the, the basic shell that we're going to start with is any one of those entries, I'm going to get into this position here. Okay, and a lot of times it's looked at, she's punching over that top, so I'm stopping and we're taking at the same time. That could be a shot here. Right? And then the first one is I'm going to clear this down and then clip the sticks here, and then I feed her one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and then four, I bring it down, then I feed. Okay? So when I, when I pull this down, okay, one of my first disarms that I can do is pull it all the way out to what's called reverse snake position here. Okay? Hammer it out this way, or flip it out. So again, on this side, from the pull down, Check that arm and continue to carry it over to this side, then I can eject that way and then strike. So there's our, our first disarm from the pull down. The okay, second one is I eject it. So as I pull this down here, I'm going to change my angle here, and now I'm grabbing the thumb and I shoot it out that line and strike. So again, this is all from the clearing or the pulling energy. Two, three. Here's our cycle. So as I pull this down, one, two. Okay, and then I can take it that way, or I can shoot it out that way, and then do my follow-up. Okay, so there's two. Number three would be vine. So here, here, here. As I pull this down, I have to retract this. I can thrust and then insert it here like that, and then I've got my disarm on the back hand side. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, once I'm in here, be careful. You would to application. I pull on the thumb. Don't do that. Push it away for the safety of your partner's hands, okay? So, one more time with that one. So we're in our cycle here, and I'm pulling this down, okay? We did the snake, we did the eject, where we grab the thumb here, and I'm putting my forearm as close to her thumb as I can, or we did fine, where I put the stick in here like this, and then flip it over here. So notice that to, uh, to make these comfortable, we kind of exit the close quarter range a little bit. So I'm in tight here, and I move just, I'm, I try to move out here like so. Okay, that gives me some time against that rear hand to check it. And I can go or thrust to the body, stretch them out, and start to go into my disarm. So there's three disarms we can do from this reference point right here when we pull this down. Okay, 